This is the Barnhart 5.6 on posterior teeth. The first thing you want to do is determine the correct working end. The correct working end, the lower shank, will be parallel to the long axis of the tooth. This is the correct end. You're going to have your insertion point at the distal line angle and fulcrum as close as you can. Wrist motion activation. You're going to turn a little interproximal. Short biting strokes. Work yourself at least halfway across that aspect. Sometimes you get calculus stuck up underneath the contact, so you want to follow your stroke through. Then you're going to reposition at the distal line angle. Short biting strokes. These would be oblique strokes. You want moderate to firm pressure in your grasp and moderate to firm pressure on your fulcrum finger. All fingers must be touching in your grasp in order to achieve wrist motion activation. When you get to that mesial line angle, you run out of room for good adaptation. So the best thing to do is come off the tooth, rotate the instrument about a quarter turn, and then reinsert at the line angle and continue to work in a proximal. Making sure again that you are staying on the toe third of the instrument. You're going halfway across the interproximal space. With those mesials in this particular quad, you really have to lock on the toe third. So a lot of tension between thumb and index finger, locking that toe third on so that you can still do wrist motion and remove the calculus under that mesial contact. When you are far enough interproximal, that whole last bend to the end really is interproximal into that space, so you can't see that. Another visual clue to know that you're far enough on the toe third is that you want to rotate so that the heel of the instrument is away from the tooth surface. That tells you that you're far enough on the toe third Keep that locked on, wrist motion activation, and you can go to the next tooth. Wrist motion activation, insert distal line angle, reinsert oblique strokes, wrist motion, come to the mesial line angle, stop and turn, and continue to work the rest of the way in approximately.